I'm going to try to explain to you the difference between bicubic and nearest neighbor resampling. Now there's several places that you can set uh, the type of um, resampling that you have. The primary place is in preferences. You go to Edit Preferences General and Image Interpolation is under the general heading and it's either bicubic or we would use nearest neighbor. Bicubic is a tonal. It controls the way the computer what image interpolation means how the pixels are resampled. When you do something to change, modify, or transform the pixels. This is critically important to everything that you do in Photoshop. Bicubic means tonal, or another word is anti-alias, or soft edges. You use this when you would be resampling a tonal photograph. And you would use nearest neighbor when you want to work with a color reduced image. You have five colors and you want to resample, change, transform, or modify your image, but you want to keep it five colors. The edges would be very sharp. So first we'll try by cubic and we'll say OK. So the way it is set in general preferences uh, really reflects how the default is set on the tools that you pick in Photoshop. So we'll say new, we'll do a 4 by 4 inch and 300 dpi. Okay, and we will go in and I have the ellipse, the elliptical marquee tool. I'll make a new layer so we don't work on the same layer. So I'll make a new layer so we could move it around. Now I am not, I do not have my anti-alias on. This is the toolbar and the toolbar changes with every tool that you select. You see how it changes? So I have my ellip elliptical marquee tool and my toolbar has a feather button and an anti-alias button. Anti-alias also affects how the edge is. So you have to be very much aware of what your settings are here. So I'm going to make a circle and I'll hold my shift button so that it will be a perfect circle and I will put in a color and I will drop it in and I will go very close. Now I did not have I did not have my anti-alias on, I did not have my feather on. I will go very close and I will look at the edge of my circle. Do you see the hard edge that's there? Now I'm going to take this circle and I will go into image, image size, and do you see where it says bicubic on the bottom? That is the default. That is because I set bicubic in the preferences. Okay, so I can go, this is going to change my entire image, not just the circle. I'm going to change my image to 8 by 8 by cubic. And now I will look close and go in very close and you will see that the edge of the circle is soft because it's by cubic. Now I'm going to go to my file Edit Preference, General, and I'll change it to Nearest Neighbor. And I'll say File New, 4 by 4 inches, 300, and I'll make a new layer. And I have my ellipse here. I do not have my anti-alias on. I do not have my feather on. And I'll hold my Shift, and I'll drop it in. and I'll look close and do you see how it's only one color one color just as the other one was at the beginning now I'm going to go into image size and do you see nearest neighbor is there 
and I'll make it 8 by 8 and now I'll look at the edge and do you see the edge is one single color so nearest neighbor resamples transforms changes modifies keeping colors separated and edges sharp by cubic will keep the edges make them soft anti-alias ever so slightly feathered tonal that is the difference between bicubic and nearest neighbor